But I like what they do. It's like the game has high variance, high RNG, but the match times are short, so it's like whenever I lose badly to RNG, you're just like, well, I just move on to the next game. Yo, we got a poll in the chat. I don't actually have sub alerts or anything set up. You'll have to forgive me. Did I really just go from one subterranean game into another one? Come on. I do love the Iceman though. But thank you so much, Apollo. I appreciate that. And yo, we got Fenton in the chat as well. Well, am I streaming now? I just, uh, you know, we're, we're just trying to stream out here. Uh, I guess Scorpion is fine. How are you doing, Fenton? Yo. Maleficer, how's it going, Sergio? Is it going to be super fun? Have you seen the Infinite Black Panther combo? I mean, I've seen some Black Panthers that get, like, pretty up there. If there's, like, an infinite combo, then no, I don't think I've, like, seen it. So we could try an Omega Red Iron Man in the middle? I'm okay with that. Maybe I also claw just to close it out. The speed and snap retreat makes it fun. Yeah, exactly, right? It's like... The variance feels okay because of those moments. You also put a rock there, so I'm down. Let's commit a big Omega Red. I have the Iron Man to back it up. The top looks comfy. You mean the sweater? It's uh, it's alright. It's pretty good. Blade, eh? Okay, there's two ways we can go about this. I could just go Punisher, Invisible Woman here, and then we end with the Iron Man. Because he probably commits stuff here because he doesn't want me to win this, right? What if I draw Onslaught, though? If I knew I was going to draw Onslaught, then I would just Iron Man right now. But that also gives away that I'm going so hard in that location. Although I guess he already should assume that I'm doing that. Missile Woman, Punisher, and then Iron Man. That's at least five, which is more than Claw, technically. Has pulled three. It's uh, it's pretty fun, you know. There's some cool stuff in there. Um, sometimes it like feels bad because like you just get cards so randomly and so spread out. And like sometimes like you don't get a card for a while, and then I got like um like Drax and I'm like wow that that's ass that feels so bad uh, we have Chavez so I should be aware that I could never top that onslaught so you know what I'm okay with this let's snap this guy I love when they snap and my evil side comes out and I counter snap oh yeah the counter snap feels so good it's very rewarding right like the game is very rewarding in that sense what's my opponent doing his full combo just to retreat last turn for one cube <laughs> I mean, that also works. Yes, like, I also had to full combo this guy, and he just... He just dipped, right? Okay, we have some good combo pieces. The Ma is really good in this deck, because, like... Oh, we're definitely gonna double ice this guy. Hit him with the snap. I, I like the Ma because, like... It's a 7 power in one location, and, like, we usually don't commit very wide. We go very hard on one location. Titan... Uh, Ma Mystique combo is awful, obviously. I guess we'll just commit the Ma to the middle. I don't know. Maybe it's good enough. The Double Ice Man probably wrecked his, his hand. Hopefully I draw something playable. Sure, we just uh, double Scorpion. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of my hand. If I draw Omega Red, I don't know. Would it be good enough? Hey, don't scorpion me. That's kind of bad. Especially with the Necroshaw. It makes this very, very awkward. I mean, if I Iron Man Onslaught, we guarantee win this. And I'm already winning Titan, although obviously you can play stuff there. So realistically, I guess we just punish her here not that great like he's not gonna go wide here ever but I don't really have any other place so I guess that's what we have it's uh, not great I don't love the Punisher but again it's a uh, it's a fine card for decks like these 
Well, I can Onslaught now. And then decide whether we want to Iron Man or Claw. You know what? I'm down. And let's snap this guy while we're at it. When I first started, I snapped every game. Now I retreat every game. Yeah, when you go up the ranks, you find people snap. I mean, they retreat a lot more. Early on, people snap for no reason. Later on, people learn to uh, to retreat. Hey, that is a big infinity knot. So, if I claw, it's an extra 12 here. Which is enough to beat that. It puts me to 19. I'm down for that. Let's try it. So those people just snap like crazy. Uh, the claw onslaught is good enough. That's why I like doing the onslaught first. Because then we could split between claw or iron man. It, uh, it, it does feel nice. Uh, we have onslaught. We could do a claw onslaught combo. We'll see. Maybe I draw the omega red. Was it the ultimate have America in the deck? Uh, yeah, so basically, America only exists as a consistency piece, right? So if you see our deck, our deck is like very combo heavy. So having America just means that there's one less card we can draw from, which increases our chances to see our combo pieces. Now, I don't recommend that you put her in every single deck because of that, but in a combo heavy deck like this, I think it does make enough of a difference. Alright, we know he's gonna deathlock the Bucky. I, I'm okay with that. Not particularly scared. I do have the Omega Red and the Onslaught combo. Which is uh, pretty good. We can assume we're gonna lose this location. Except not, because I have Claw Onslaught, right? So I guess from now on, we have like my 4, 5, and 6 are set in stone here. So I essentially only get one more choice. So it's going to be 5, and then 6 is 11. The claw still beats that. So maybe we go Deathlock over here. Life is good, how are you all? Good ups and downs, what do you expect from life? Yeah. Wow, I'm really surprised he did not Deathlock the Bucky. That is... Never saw that coming. Okay, so now that I've drawn the Iron Man, we have an important choice to make. Is my 5 drop here going to be Iron Man or is it going to be Claw? If he commits a lot, then it might have to be Iron Man. This is not a lot of stats though, honestly. But... I guess to be safe... We will Iron Man. And you know what? Let's snap this guy. Who's Claw? Uh, Claw is this nerd. I don't know where this guy's from. I've never seen him in my life before this game. But he buffs the location on the right. Which is kind of nice. Is a chunky Iron Man? Yeah, so Iron Man doubles her power. And then Onslaught doubles that double. So, uh, you're going to see it, it's quite a bit of power. Alright, this guy's up to some shenanigans. I'm not going to be able to beat this, but we could beat the, the Necrosha with the... We basically have to just hope that it's enough. So, you see, we only have two power here, but once everything gets revealed, we're gonna get a good amount of power. It's bet time. You know, I have a bet E mode. Hey, good night, Ruffle. It's good to see you, dude. He plays a dino. I think that means we win. I'm pretty sure we beat it. Yeah, so we go to uh, way too much. 56 power. And then Omega Red gives me 8 on each side. Which is pretty good. That's a good display of like the combo working as intended. So maybe that's good for an epic YouTuber.